Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the timing is fluid on this reading, so we're just going to see what comes up. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience and, and waiting for it and not begging. I had another sign that begged and begged and begged. And Thank you. I appreciate I appreciate your patience. Now, keep in mind that every reading, that, or every mess, every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. Um, patience. So you, some, some, your patience is paying off. There's something that you have been waiting for that is coming. Okay, your, your, um, what's the word for it? Ability to just observe and wait and uh, take your time is being noticed okay somebody is noticing your ability to just relax and wait for it to happen somebody is, is appreciating that they are appreciating your uh, patience okay so you're being appreciated right now that's that's what I see I had two cards fall out so I'm gonna go ahead and take them this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you know the timing is fluid. Mm. Bag. Something important such as a new job or raise. I think that says. So there's that's a money bag. Okay. You're going to be. This is a payout of some sort. Flowers. Happiness. So this is happiness. You're going to be receiving something important. It feels like it's big. It's really, really, really big. This is like big happiness. So, somebody may also be getting some flowers. There is a message that is coming in the flowers card. We have a bird. Birds are messengers, so there's a message that is coming. It's good news. May ha may there could be an increase in your bank account even. Does it have to be? But you're about to receive something big, I believe. What do we have for Aquarius? Two cards. Shared values. You have somebody here that you are going to be partnering up with. This is somebody that you have shared values with. This is making an agreement, partnering up. Um, somebody that you have a lot in common with. You see, you see things the same way, but you do have to beware, okay? And because we have an enemy disguised as a friend, so you do need to be careful. I don't believe it's the same person that you have shared values with because that looks like it's, it's a good match. It looks like you are going to be partnering up with somebody or maybe you already have but you you definitely have somebody around you as well there's two people because there's two car there's two people there is two people you've got somebody here that is not your friend hmm. what do we have for Aquarius in the angel romance deck Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So you are being guided to make some sort of effort in regards to your uh, love life. You need to make some sort of effort that you have not been making. On the bottom, we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So you may need to break free from something. It looks like we have somebody here that is in some sort of cage. You know, it's time to broaden your horizons, to fly. You know, it's time for you to fly in a new direction. Okay, you, you, maybe you are uh, it's keeping it safe. You're staying inside some sort of boundaries. You're, you're, you're unwilling or you're not ready to fly, but I feel like you're about ready to. I do think you're about ready to expand your horizons. I do. I think you're going to be partnering up with somebody that can help you to broaden your horizons in some way. We're going to use this deck right here. 
What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising. Oh, I just cut the deck. I can't. Okay, we have the Empress and the Four of Wands. So the Empress is creating a new life. Okay, it's a very beautiful energy. This is extreme happiness. So you have some extreme happiness here. This is maybe you're laying roots with somebody or you're committing to somebody, maybe getting into a new commitment. This is a blessing. Uh, doing everything with love, receiving a blessing. You're going to be receiving some sort of blessing. You are. We have a very beautiful feminine energy here. This is the giver of life. This is a creator that is definitely, and we have happiness up here with the flowers. Um, this is a get together, attending a get together. Maybe even somebody, maybe even getting engaged or getting married or going to a marriage, going to an engagement party, celebrating, celebrating. Uh, you're going to be going to some sort of celebration. Or you're going to be really, really happy with what you are about to receive. Some, but this is a blessing, a true, true, true blessing. Empress gives birth to a new life. So you're going to, you're in the process. You're about ready to receive a, a blessing of some sort. If you are a feminine watching this, you are looking really good. You are glowing. Okay. People can see your beauty. They do definitely appreciate you. They appreciate your gentleness. They appreciate your love. You are loved. Everybody can see it. Everybody can see your beauty. They can, they appreciate your unconditional love. If you are a masculine watching this, you may be in that energy as well. You may, that could be your feminine energy, but you may also be dealing with a woman or a feminine energy that is absolutely beautiful. This is a creator. Somebody could even be getting pregnant. This could be a commitment that is stepping it up to the next level. Okay. There could be news of a child, whatever this is. It's very happy news. Um, Empress is the birth, giving birth to a new life. This is beautiful, absolutely positively beautiful. It feels like your prayers have been heard in some way. You know, I feel like you're gonna you're gonna be receiving something that is gonna make you extremely happy. It is big. It is big. The Empress is love and abundance. Okay? So I feel like this is exciting. It is exciting. You're connecting with somebody that is perfect. You have a lot in common with this person. But what is this? And you're being called to make some sort of effort. What is this enemy? This guy is a friend. I don't know. You got somebody here that you, Oh, we had two cards not come up. Oh, the Empress and the Six of Cups reversed. It's the Empress when I just picked up this deck. And now the four of wands on the bottom. I shuffled. I got the empress and the six of cups reversed. The empress is leaving the past behind. Somebody may be packing up and leaving home. Nothing stays the same. Something to do with children as well. We have a beautiful... I mean, the Empress is the goddess of love, right? She's beautiful. She's glowing. She is about to give birth to a new life. All right, what do we have? What do we have? The Empress is a creator, you know, so creating something. Leaving the past behind is the Six of Cups reversed. Nothing stays the same. You are about to receive something. It's a miracle, right? The Empress gives birth to a miracle. Seven of Pentacles. There could be a relocation here because if this is like short-lived success, nurturing something, it's time to go. It's, it's somebody may be relocating. It looks like this season is over. Also, something you started a long time ago may be coming to fruition now. because it's, it's prominent, okay? It's very prominent. This is the birth of a new life, absolutely, 100%. You are in the process of receiving. You have, it's time, it's delivery. It's time for you to receive, a, there's a delivery, and, the, and birds are messengers, okay? 
They deliver things. So there is a delivery here. There's about you're about to receive some sort of I don't know, delivery of some sort. Three of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. I don't know if this has to do with a family situation. Hangman upright underneath the Empress. Page of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Unplanned, unplanned loss. I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. We're going to get to that in just a second. Knight of Swords upright. And I knew that your prayers had been answered. I just knew that they had been. Look at that. We got the star on the bottom, which is a wish being granted. This is wish fulfillment. This is exactly what you asked for. This is your energy, okay? So you are, your prayers have been heard. This is unexpected help arriving. This is guaranteed success. This is a blessing. This is something that you wished for. Wish fulfillment. Yes. Yes, this is what you asked for. So you are going to be, this is, a, your prayers have been answered in some way. Somebody is coming in. They are coming in. They're going to be coming in out of nowhere. They're going to be rushing in. They know what they want. They're making an approach. Um, this is this is somebody that, uh, whoever you're dealing with, I may have been in a situation. They may have been working with another partner or work, yeah, working with another partner so they couldn't make an offer to you. Um, but they are about to make you some sort of offer. This is somebody that knows what they want. They've already done their investigation. They're coming in with an offer. I feel like there's they've been thinking a lot, thinking, thinking, thinking. The middle card is the hangman. They've been thinking. They've been through a period of enlightenment. Um, they've been stagnant. They've been isolating themselves. I think that you are dealing with somebody that has been in some sort of unhappy relationship. They've been thinking about you a lot. A lot, 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 lot. They've been in a loveless, unrequited love situation. And this could be a work partnership. There's, there's a lack of emotional fulfillment here. There's a lack of happiness. There's a lack of emotional growth. You may have been thinking about leaving a situation for a while as well. Because the Empress being right in the middle above that hangman hey is, is, is somebody of value. You know, she is, she's the goddess. She's the queen of all queens. But she's also... You know, she's about value. She knows her value. She is very valuable. Everybody wants the Empress. You know, everybody wants unconditional love and wants abundance. And she can she can give it. She creates it. She can grow anything. So I think this is definitely a time of growth. I feel like somebody really, 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 really sees your beauty, whether you are male or female. I feel like you have been... Uh, not getting the respect that you deserve, whether it's at work or at home or within a relationship. With the Three of Pentacles reversed right next to the Empress, that's a lack of respect, lack of teamwork, lack of communication, doesn't work well with others. I think that you've been, you've, you, maybe you've been waiting because the Empress has to wait for her blessing, okay? It feels like you've been waiting. And I know that you have. I know that you have, you've been waiting for this blessing. You've been waiting for somebody to come in that was going to work with you, that wanted to work with you that was uh, real and I feel like but the thing is is that you underneath that empress is the hangman and the ace of pentacles reverse that is unplanned loss you know letting something go that isn't stable that isn't solid I think that you've been investing in something that was unfertile or infertile for some time you may have gotten a little bit of a a little bit of a payout from it but not what you expected and I feel like it's brought you a lot of emotional discontent I, and I don't know if this is a job or a relationship because we have the seven of pentacles the ten of cups reversed and the queen of cups reversed I feel like it's a lack of emotional success here and not not only is it not paying off financially it's not paying off emotionally you've been investing in something that you know it feels like it's a dead end a dead end there's no more growth there's there's nothing there's no reason you can't make something grow if the ground isn't fertile and I feel like or if it's in a place where there's no light you know if it's a darkness if, if there's no you can't make something grow if it's dead okay put it that way or if 
you know, you can't make it happen. And I feel like we have relationship problems here, with whether it's at work or at home. The Ten of Cups reversed is relationship problems. This is a dying dream. It's sad. It's sad with the Queen of Cups. I feel like you've been investing in some sort of relationship in some direction where there's a lot of sadness, a lot of emotional discontent. And you've been thinking about whether you should move, whether you should move on, whether you, whether you should keep investing in this or whatnot. I feel like you are about to receive some sort of blessing. You've been in a state of stagnation. You may have been feeling really, really lonely or feeling alone and going through a period of enlightenment and not seeing your value or somebody wasn't seeing your value. Well, because the Ace of Pentacles reversed is a lack of value. Maybe you didn't know your value. I don't know. I feel like uh, you are about to receive some sort of blessing and it's totally time okay um you should not be investing in somebody that is very very stubborn and doesn't respect you and doesn't communicate with you i don't know if you've been dealing with somebody that's in a third party situation you know and you need it's a dead end okay we have dead end a couple times with the page of pentacles is reverse which is also a dead end you may be dealing with somebody that has a wandering eye that had a wandering eye this person isn't really committed they're lazy they um, don't put in a lot of effort. They're very, very stubborn, extremely stubborn. They don't really want a relationship or they just don't work well with you. Um, I think that there is about to be, I don't know if it's a, a departure or an arrival because of that Knight of Swords. There could be, an. I feel like there's a, I think that there's an unplanned there's unexpected help that is arriving. This help is going to, is going to help you uh, look at things from a new perspective. You're going to need to look at things from a new perspective. A new perspective is needed. You need to open up. You need to stop sacrificing yourself. It feels like you've been sacrificing yourself, wasting some time, wasting some time investing in something that I feel like there's no real commitment here. And I feel like you have an opportunity for happiness in your future. Um, but, you know, the Empress doesn't give birth without pain. Okay, that's the way it goes. I do feel like there is some heartache here. There's there's loneliness due to, and I feel like it's almost, I feel like it's due to disillusionment. Um, Page of Pentacles, reverse, no integrity. <clears throat> there's definitely lack of communication here. Lack of respect for others. You're, I, 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 you know, it feels like you're dealing with somebody that is extremely stubborn. This person isn't really committed to the relationship. They may be uh, unstable. And you're thinking about whether you want to invest in them or not. But I feel like you have something really big that is coming to you that you did invest in a long time ago. And now you're about to reap some sort of reward for that investment. Something is coming back. You planted these seeds a long time ago. Maybe it was seven years ago. Seven or ten. Seven or ten years ago. Could even be... Uh, three years ago no four years ago well, I said three could be three four seven or ten years ago I think it's seven minus three maybe four years ago could also be ten years ago anyhow um, your prayers have been heard you are about to receive some sort of reward for all the hard work you have done Yet you don't see it coming. Mm -mm. I think that uh, you need to stop wasting your time on some sort of relationship that isn't giving you what you need. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure that you do. Your wish is being granted. Unexpected help is arriving. You're about to receive some unexpected help. Could be financial help. Or somebody's going to make you an offer 
that you totally, totally, totally don't respect or don't expect. I feel like this person has had a very hard time making you this offer for some reason. Six of Wands upright, Ten of Swords reversed. So the Ten of Swords reversed is liberation. It is freedom. Progress is about to be made. This is a win. This is a yes. This is something. There could be some. The Star and the Six of Wands can be famous public recognition. You may be getting some public recognition. If you have been down, if you've been down and out, you have been, you know, hit rock bottom or anything like that, your things are about to change. Things are about to progress. Something could be coming back from the dead. You thought it was over. It's coming back around. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra with the Empress card. You could be dealing with a Pisces with the Hangman. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, things are about to progress forward. You are about to be recognized. There's some sort of public recognition or some, it doesn't have to be public, but it could be because both the Six of Wands is famous and the star, you know, it's a star. So there's some sort, I don't know if somebody is going to be the star of the show, getting some sort of recognition for all their hard work. Somebody's hard work is about to pay off. You may have thought that it wasn't going to pay off. It is going to pay off. You know, I feel like this is going to come, you're not, it's going to come out of nowhere. It's like you don't even, it's just coming, okay, it's coming, this help is coming. I feel like you've been working with somebody that really doesn't put in a lot of effort. They 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 don't lack goals, and maybe you've lost sight of your goals. I think that things are about to change, put it that way. You're about to win something with the Six of Wands. This could be a winning, okay, you may win something, unplanned. This is definitely a win, making progress. Yes, yes, you win. You're winning. Somebody sees your hard work. This is victory. Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. And this uh, Ten of Wands is definitely sorrow. It's being betrayed. You've been betrayed. You've been betrayed by somebody, you know, or you've been hurt or you've been stabbed or something like that, you know. But now you're about to receive some sort of victory. And this is an absolute blessing. This is a yes. This is this is what you asked for some sort of prayer is about to be answered this is coming out of nowhere with the with the knight of swords this is an, making an approach making an advance this could be an advance of some sort this is a sudden arrival or a sudden departure you may be breaking free from something because somebody is arriving that is going to help you out of the situation there could be a move here. There definitely could be a move, a relocation that is on the horizon. Somebody could be moving to you. You could be moving to them. You could. There could be a change in with the Ten of Cups reverse. Could be leaving home. Queen of Cups reversed is emotionally withdrawn, moving away from somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. That is. Uh, doesn't communicate well we have a we have a very motherly energy here that is about to receive a blessing unplanned somebody could be moving in with you I know I just said that or moving out could go either way page of swords reverse this is your enemy disguised as a friend so you definitely have an enemy that is disguised as a friend with that three of pentacles is in reversed as well this is somebody that uh page of pentacles reverse doesn't have integrity you got somebody around you that may be trying to uh hurt you with the ten of swords reverse they may be trying to keep you down they are not gonna get away with it uh-uh 
Nope. This is somebody that is spiteful. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have somebody here that is very, very, very spiteful. But you, you're going to win. You're going to, whatever this is, you're winning. You're winning and they are, I don't know if they're jealous or whatever. They may be going through a separation right now. And that's why they're thinking about you. If that's the case or they want to cause you problems. They may be jealous of the person that you're with. Gaining a new perspective through a loss. You could also be, this is for somebody else, you could be dealing with uh, with somebody that has gained a new perspective because they, they had a loss in their life. Now they're thinking about you again. They want to invest in you. They did not treat you with respect. They didn't see your value. Now they see your beauty. They see your worth. They're coming in out of nowhere. Maybe, maybe you've gained some sort of recognition, you know, you've overcome some sort of battle because Six of Wands is a, it's, it's like the end of war, it's the end of a battle, it's the perseverance. I feel like you have persevered through some sort of hardship that almost killed you. The Ten of Swords reversed is right next to it. It's like it almost killed you. It really, really hurt you. There was a lot of suffering that was involved you've persevered you you're strong you're being recognized for your hard work and there is somebody here that uh, i don't know if they're heartbroken over losing you now and i feel like they've gained a new perspective because you've learned your value you're glowing you're on cloud nine you know everybody sees your beauty or sees your worth or sees your value you've you've overcome some sort of serious battle you're going to be receiving some sort of communication from somebody this person could even show up they could show up and it's going to bring conflict it is going to be conflict it's going to bring you conflict. It's going to be like, are you kidding me? Maybe this is the same person. Maybe with the shared values, this person was an enemy. I don't know. What is this? One more card and then we got to go. Eight of Wands reversed. Jealous, blocked, feeling guilty. There's somebody here that is feeling guilty. They are feeling guilty for what they did to you. And I think that they are definitely feeling guilty. They are stressed out. They have a lot of regrets. They're giving deep thought to a relationship. You may be receiving an apology. This person is has a big ego. And maybe they, they've been held back because they have to apologize. And they don't want to apologize. I do believe that you may be receiving an apology from somebody that, you know, uh, you may, they want to, they they want to connect with you. They want to partner up with you. But, you know, you may see them as an enemy because of what they, how they stabbed you in the past. Good luck.